Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to take vendor discounts in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And so you may get uh, vendor bills, bills from your vendors that come in and they have a term on it. Okay, most vendor bills are going to have terms. All right, and a lot of times they're just going to be, you know, net 10, net 15, net 30. That basically means that you have to pay within that certain amount of time. Okay, so if it's net 30, it's due in 30 days. If it's net 15, it's due in 15 days. Okay, pretty straightforward. Okay, so I want to go to the list over here. Okay, and I'm going to go to, let's see, terms list. Okay. So you see in the terms list here, we've got some different terms. We've got the net 15, net 30, net 60. Now you may come across uh, vendors that give a discount if you pay within the first 10 days. Okay, this is what these are right here. 1% 10 net 30 or 2% 10 net 30. You may see some other variations. 2% uh, 10 net 60, net 45. Basically what this means is this one right here, 1% 10 net 30 means if you pay within the first 10 days, you can take a 1% discount. And this one, if you pay within the, you know, the first 10 days, you take a 2% discount. So the total is due in 30 days, but if you pay within the first 10 days, you get a 2% discount. All right, so let's walk through how you do this in QuickBooks, how you set this up, uh, because oftentimes it makes sense to take advantage of these discounts. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, I'm gonna show you really two ways. You know, if, if you get a bill, uh, and you get this vendor, you can go to the actual vendor and set up the terms. So if I go to a Chung Limited, I go to Edit, and we go to uh, Payment Settings, you can change the payment terms right here. And, and when you change it here, it's going to default in QuickBooks. Every single time you enter a bill from this a Chung Limited, it's going to default to whatever the terms are. All right. So let's say that a Chung is 2% 10 net 30. We hit OK. All right, I go to enter a bill. So I get a bill from A Chung Limited, and we say A Chung Limited, 1215. We'll say that this is $100. All right, so it's due on 114, 2024. You see the terms, they automatically populate right here, and the discount date is 1225. Okay, so let me save and close. I'm going to save anyway, I don't have a class on there. So let me go to pay my bills. We go to vendor, go to pay bills. And let's say that I'm gonna pay a Chung Limited, this one right here. When I check this, all right, you're gonna see, it's just gonna show the $100. Okay, so even though I have already said 2% 10 net 30, I'm within the 10 days. So you've gotta look down here and say set discount. All right, so the amount of the discount is $2 because it's 2% and I'm paying within the first 10 days. All right, so this calculates for you. Now the discount account, this is where people will get a little tripped up and a lot of people do this in one of two ways. One, they will set up a specific account that is maybe an other income, other expense, you know, generally whatever account you wanna put it to that's outside the normal accounts to see how much in discounts that they're, they're getting. Now, personally, I like to put it to the account that this applies to. So for example, if A Chung Limited, if I'm buying office supplies from them all the time, I'm gonna put it to the office supplies account. And the reason is because I wanna see the total I'm spending on office supplies. So if my bill is $100, I'm taking a $2 discount, my net, expense for office supplies is $98. So I like to put it into that same account because that way I can track how much I'm spending on uh, certain categories and, and make sure that it's capturing that discount as well. Okay, so we're gonna say discount class. All right, we'll say this is overhead and we hit done. And you'll see here now $100, discount used $2, pay bill 98 bucks, all right? So you hit pay selected bills, all right, and you're done. All right, now let's say that you come across a vendor, you've got a vendor in there and you enter a bill and let's, let me pick, uh, let's say Cal Telephone. Okay, so you can see the terms are net 30 right here, but let's say that, you know, I go in and they all of a sudden give me 2% 10 net 30. All right, so I've changed those terms. Now you can change it on the bill. We're gonna say this is $200, all right. So it goes to utilities, 
telephone. Let me tab over here. And I hit save and close, and it's going to say you have changed the terms. Uh, it'll reflect in this transaction you want to make it permanent. And if not, you say no. And if yes, you hit yes. All right, we're going to save anyway. So now we'll go to vendors, and we're going to pay our bills. All right, so let me look for Cal Telephone right here. $200. All right, now you see the discount shows up. All right, so we say set discount. Uh, this one we're going to put to uh, utilities. We'll put to telephone. And then we're going to put to overhead. We'll say done. And now it's taken that discount. All right, so pay selected bills. There we go. Pretty straightforward. So again, check for those discounts. If, if vendors are giving you discounts, depending on your cash flow, uh, oftentimes it really makes a lot of sense to take advantage of these discounts uh, because you can reduce your expenses, most definitely. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, also, head over to the QuickBooks University, become a member. What that means, really straightforward. Uh, it's a one-time fee for the uh, training tutorials, which walk you through step-by-step -step how to use QuickBooks, all right? There's QuickBooks Online, there's QuickBooks Desktop over there. Uh, I got you covered. But it also includes access to a private Facebook group, a forum, as well as email to ask me your specific QuickBooks questions, okay? So I answer your questions. Again, it's a one-time thing. Uh, there are no ongoing fees. So head over there now qbuniversity.org.